Let's first take a look at the income tax formula, looking at which lines might be impacted by adding a dependent. Where's my new de For example, the standard deduction may but not always be impacted if there's a change in dependent. So for example, if we had a single filer and then we added a dependent, that might move the single filer up to a head of household filing status. But we want tax exempt status. The dependent often being one of the qualifications to do so. However, having a change in dependence will not always have an impact on the standard deduction, for example, if we added another child, then they're not going to move from like head of household to another filing status past that point. Another area that there could be an impact as we have the dependents are going to be the tax rates. And that will usually be tied to whether or not there was a change in the filing status. So in that first scenario where we had a single filer moving up to head of household, then there might also be a change in the progressive tax rates when actually calculating the taxes. Then we could have a impact on the credits. If it's a qualifying child, you could have a significant uh, credit. And if it's not a qualifying child, you might have an other dependent uh, credit impact. Notice that if you're thinking about like a, a quite a while back at this point in time of like an added exemption component, they changed that uh, to, again, I think try to simplify the tax code. So now we've got these credits that are related to them, the child tax credit and the other dependent credit. When we're thinking about credits focused here on the child tax credit, we could have a component that would be a non-refundable component non-refundable and a component of the credit which would be a refundable component if it was refundable it can take the tax liability below zero so you basically get a benefit kind of a refund but it's not really a refund it's kind of a benefit program even though your tax liability has been gone below zero if it's non-refundable then it can't take your tax liability below zero so the benefit of the credit kind of stops at that point We'll dive into those items more deeply when we get into the calculations of the credits themselves, including the child tax credit. But as you can see, as we try to work through our accounting equation, certain or different components of the equation will have impacts on other areas of uh, the tax equation, which kind of complicates things as we move forward. 